So what I'd like to show here is how to do some plotting using DynaViews and the drafting templates. So what you need to do first is get your project set up and your plan view set so that you have everything on your screen uh, visible how you want it to show up on this on the sheet. So um, one thing I like to do once I get this set to how I like it, I'm going to copy this view filter. So I'm going to come over to my view filter manager. I'm going to copy this view filter and I'm going to call this my plan view. So this will be my plan view and I'm going to do 24 by 36 paper. So I hit OK on that. And then what I do next is I go to the advanced settings here and I just lock this view filter and hit OK. So this view filter is how um, I want this to look on my screen. So what I'm essentially doing is creating this view so that I can always go back to it if I need to. And it also helps if you make changes to your drawing. It'll also won't make changes to your Dyna views. So I lock out that plan view 24 by 36. And I want to go to the drafting tab and I want to go into this button over here called drafting templates. So if you click on this drafting templates button, it's going to open up a window where you have all your drafting templates saved. So this is a default folder that is installed in business center and, and it comes with all the different templates. So if you scroll down, you're going to find your paper size that you want to use. So I'm going to find the architectural D 24 by 36 plan set. So, that's the one that you would want to use based on that size paper. If you want to use any of the other ones, you could just drag those in, um, you know, if you need different sizes. So we'll just start out with this 24 by 36 plan set. And I'm going to drag this in. And now if I go into my Project Explorer, you'll see that this plan set is now here. And I also have my sheet sets underneath it. So based on what we have here, um, you can choose a title sheet. You can choose a mix sheet, cross sections. So there's all different choices here. So the one, if I'm just going to do generic printing, I usually pick the mix sheet. So what I want to do here is this is my sheet set. So I need to make an actual sheet underneath my sheet set. So this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create a custom sheet. And I'm going to just call this one sheet one. So you can call it sheet one and we can call this plan view if you want. So just to make it a little bit easier so you know what it means. Um, so you're going to say call it sheet one plan view and then just hit OK. So now you'll see that we get this sheet one plan view underneath our sheet set. So we have our plan set. And then our sheet set is the mix sheet. And then this is an actual sheet that we're going to print on. So what you need to do here, once you create that sheet, just right click your mouse and go to new sheet view. OK, so this now is our actual paper. So what Business Center has, it has a, a, a preloaded title block here. So you can use this title block. You can print inside of this title block and use it if you want. If you're just looking to do simple sheet, with nothing else on it you can just come in here and just select everything like this hold control and unselect that outer edge which is your actual paper edge and you can just hit the delete button and just get rid of that title block if you don't want it so you know if you want to create a custom title block you can do that but if you're just looking for just a simple sheet with nothing else just this doesn't even have a border so this line is actually the edge of the paper so once you have that set you need to go back into your plan view and we're going to draw a rectangle around what we want to draw or what we want to plot. So if you go to your CAD tab, you have a button called rectangle. So you can draw a rectangle from there. Um, in my drafting tab, I've actually added a quick button over here for me right next to my Dyna view. So I can just click here and create a rectangle. And I want to put this on my sheet dyna view boxes so this is actually going to be a dyna view box so i put my cursor in corner number one and i'm just going to draw a box around what i would like to print so i can close out of that 
and now I want to go and create that Dyna view. So I need this box first to create the Dyna view. So you create the box, go to your Create Dyna view button. It's going to ask you to name it. So I just usually go Dyna view one. I'm going to put this on a layer as well. So you want to make sure you put these on the correct layers so that everything stays organized. So this is going to go on Sheet Dyna view content. The frame, I'm going to click in that box. The frame is going to be the frame that I just drew. And then it says scale. So depending on how your drawing is going to look, you can kind of guess at this. So 50 scale is probably going to be too small. So what we can do is now it's going to say, where do we want this to be located? So we want to switch now from plan view over to our paper view again and click in the location button box. So now you can see that that rectangle that we drew is now at 50 scale on my paper. So that's going to be obviously too small. So you can adjust this if you want. So 50 scale, you know, is too, is too small. So we can even go to like 10 scale and see if 10 is going to work. So we'll try 10 scale. And obviously that's going to be way too big for our, our sheet. So let's try like 15, something like that. And 15 looks like that's going to fit on there pretty nicely. So you can just adjust this to wherever you want it in the center of the paper. Just click that location. It, it grabs that location on your paper, and then it asks you for a rotation. So if you need to rotate it, you could do that. Just hit Enter if you want it to stay at zero. So just hit Enter on your keypad. And then now you've essentially placed that Dyna view onto your paper space. So this is really what is going to plot out on the paper. So it still has that Dyna view box that we drew on there. So one way to get rid of that, you could turn that off um, and just get rid of that, that um, the box there. So one other way that you can eliminate the box is you could just come into your layer options. So if you go into your layer manager, and you find your DynaView box layer, I usually come over here and I just uncheck that. So this is actually the plot section here. So if you uncheck it, it will not plot the DynaView box. So even though it shows up on the screen, it's not going to plot it. Now you can always just go and turn that layer off if you want to. But as an insurance, I just usually just say turn off that layer from plotting and I don't have to worry about it that so just hit close on that and we're going to go back to our plan view so we can see that and everything is basically ready to go for printing so i'm going to go back to my drafting tab up top and i'm going to go to print plan set so if i have one plan set in here it's only going to give me the option to choose that plan set and then i want to i want to print the Plan view 24 by 36 is the view filter that I've been using. And I want to shoot, I want to uh, choose one to one full scale. And it already knew that I have that one sheet in there. So that's that sheet one plan view. And then over here, you'll see that that's that same one right there. Okay, so then I choose print to PDF. And then I choose this button here to select my path of where I want it to save to. So what I can do is just choose, I'll just choose to put this in my documents folder. And I can name it whatever I want. I just name this test plot. Put it in my documents and hit save. And now I can just hit OK. So what it did there was it opened up my PDF viewer. And this is essentially my 24 by 36 sheet with the CAD layers that I wanted. And you can see that that DynaView box did not print on my sheet. So I know that everything came out correctly. And by opening it up in the PDF viewer before I print to my printer, I know that whatever I chose was going to get printed out correctly.